Hey, Shug. Welcome back to the Healing Circle. So we're here to do a daily collective for Friday, December 8th. Okay. This is for Friday, December 8th. Now, if the reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it fit. Okay. That's very important. All right. Using the Quantum Oracle deck. Let's see. What do we have for the collective for Friday, December 8th? Holy Spirit, angels in heaven. So we have victim mentality in reverse. Do you see that? And present power upright. All right. This is good. This is good. Uh huh. Yeah. So someone's feeling more empowered. Yes. We got it. Let's get into this message. It's a consciousness, present power. That's the overall energy. Number two, it's about choices and decisions, paths. All right. Present by power is about strength in the here and now. And it says, a man stands on a pedestal holding a chain on each hand. The chain in his left hand, representing the past, holds a powerful lion. The chain to his right, representing the future, holds a tiger. The beasts are quiet and the man is in control. Thoughts about the past and worries about the future can neither run away with him nor consume him. This card is letting you know that you have significant power now and there is some present issue that will benefit greatly from your attention. If there's a matter to be resolved, a project to be finished, or a decision to be made, now is the time to prioritize it. You are in a position of strength, so keep your thoughts focused on the issue at hand and be ready to take action. Joyous opportunities are opening up for you at this time. You're now capable of taming the rampant, fragmented energy in your life by staying strong in the current moment. The past is over and the future will bring beautiful blessings as long as you continue to be conscious of your power in the present. Okay? No longer a victim. Let go of the... With the victim mentality, it calls the reverse. It's like, let go of the um, feeling like you have to deal with certain circumstances, okay? Let go of that energy or even that expectation, okay? You do have the power to make the changes that you want in your life. Your past doesn't hold you back, and neither does the worry about the future, okay? The Seven of Swords. And the moon and the star that De devil energy two of swords three of swords ten of swords okay so the seven of swords and the moon energy there is there's things that you're not expressing and not being completely transparent about. Um, this also is the energy of someone who has major trust issues and fear, okay? Uh, when it comes to like life choices in general, okay? With the star energy and the devil energy, someone is like being assisted by the divine with the star energy to heal that toxic mentality, okay? That victim mentality even with victim mentality in reverse of feeling restricted to a source like I can't there's energy like I can't it's avoidance it's um a feeling of being restricted like I can't okay maybe because of heartbreaking disappointment three of souls and a ten of souls it's like I don't want to experience that I don't want to encounter that I don't want to do that okay it's a, a energy of avoidance though and an unhealthy trait of someone it's not doing you no justice. Not being honest about what it is that you're feeling, what it is that you are afraid of, what it is that bothers you. What's holding you back? So victim mentality in reverse is a good omen. Let's see. 
changing your consciousness because both of these are consciousness cards. It says this. Taking your power back is the message of the card. But in reverse, when this card is reversed, the rope falls off the man's wrist, allowing him to just step away. This indicates your ability to get out of a situation that's been very disempowering for you, or at least to take your power back within it. If you've remained passive in your own life, your soul longs for you to acknowledge your value and your inner strength. Know that you are to do so now. You have finally mustered up the courage and the will. All you have to do is stand up. This may be a little frightening to you at first, but don't give up. Let the clarity of your point, your spirit, <laughs> carry you through. Okay? Clarity of your spirit. You know what's right. You know what's wrong. You know, like, you you were not placed here on earth to just sit here and uh, feel limited. Okay? Feel restricted. That's not the life you are intended to live. Right? Yeah. With the hermit energy. Okay, you know better. Okay, with the high priestess energy. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot you're not sharing. You're not being honest. Okay. Because you're holding within a lot you're thinking about. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles and procrastinating. Okay. Maybe because of other people with the Three of Cups. You want to go in one direction, but you're afraid of making that decision because of other people. Okay, but you're not restricted by anyone. Spirit is telling you that. Okay. Yep. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. This is your opportunity. Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Wands is an opportunity for recognition, success, everything that you desire as far as security, um, abundance. Right. You're blocking it by not allowing yourself to make decisions. Okay, with the Six of Wands energy, this is about success and achievement. With the Seven of Wands and judgment, you're stopping yourself from making a decision. Okay, Three of Wands and the Eight of Wands is you waiting to move things forward, waiting to communicate, waiting to say something, waiting to make change. Heal that, unhe that unhealthy trait of yours, okay, where you allow fear to restrict you. Are you really being honest with yourself? Okay, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands is what you need to do. Eight of Pentacles work effort is say something. You need to communicate. Okay. And stop being back and forth. Okay. Stop being on the fence. The Knight of Wands energy is on the fence. Teeter totter. Right. Make a decision, King of Swords. Okay. That is what you want, Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. You see it? King of Souls and the Nine of Cups. Okay. Ace of Cups in the world. There's a new opportunity on the table. A whole brand new beginning. But you have to end the cycle. The tower must fall. So that's what I have for you, Should. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Wish you guys already. Bye.